I'm starting off with Benefits Professional and I'm just priming my face to make sure that my face paint goes on smoothly. Next I'm just taking a plain glue stick and I'm running it through my eyebrows. That way I can smooth them down and be able to cover them up with makeup later. And taking a brush and just run it, running uh, the glue right through my eyebrow hairs. I'm taking a thicker amount of the glue stick and I'm just placing it on the front of my brow and just moving it down over the rest of my brow to make sure that it's just sealed down. With Milani's eyeshadow primer and I'm just going to put that all over my eye just to prime and get ready for the face paint. Then I'm using the Ben Nye Rainbow Wheel for my face paint and taking that on just a flat concealer brush. I'm going into the black first and I'm going to feel around my eye for my socket bone and then allow the rounded edge of the brush to create the scallop design around my eye and I'm just going to let the brush do all the work on this just turn the brush to a different angle and press it down you don't need to press it hard just make your mark and continue on and then we'll fill it in in a minute Okay, now as I said before, I'm going to go back in with the black and just fill in the entire lid area and just clean up all of the scallop design using the same brush because it'll just make everything so much easier when you're just cleaning up those edges with an already rounded brush. Once you have your design filled in, go ahead and take a matte black eyeshadow of choice. I'm just using this duo from L'Oreal in dashing and just taking the black on the same brush again and just patting it right over the face paint because it is really wet and you just want to set that with a powder to make sure it's just not sliding around all over your face. Next, you can choose your color of choice, but I'm taking Sugar Pills Love Plus on another concealer brush, and I'm just putting that onto my eyelid itself just to put some color there onto my eye and just so that it's not all black. But I did want to put the black down first because I don't want it to be just a bright, vibrant red. I want it to be a, a darker, burgundy-ish red. Now I'm using the red in the Ben Nye Rainbow Wheel and I'm using just a small detail brush and going around the edge of my scallop design. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can clean it up later. I'm just wanting to uh, contrast the black a little bit and then I'm going back in with the black and just cleaning up some spots where I just saw some bare skin. Going in with Ben Nye's Clown White, uh, just a pure white face paint, I'm taking another small detail brush and I'm just going right along the edge of the uh, scallop design just to make sure that I don't mess it up with uh, when I go in with my beauty blender, which I'm doing now, and um, get your hair out of the way perfectly, but I didn't think that was important apparently. Uh, and I'm just taking that in a thin layer all over my face. Next I'm using just a flat paintbrush just to get in up close to the detail without blending it away with the beauty blender. Now using whatever cheap white eyeliner pencil that you have on hand just trace out a basic template for how you want to do your like jawline and then uh, fill in the rest of your face once you have that with your uh, white face paint Going 
going back in with the black color from the rainbow wheel and the same concealer brush that I used for my eyes, I'm just going to fill in the template that I sketched out for my jawline. And uh, don't feel like this is going to be permanent or anything. Anything uh, that you draw on and you don't like, you can just wipe off and repaint it. I'm not exactly sure how many times I did that, but it was a lot. So, uh, yeah, just be creative with it. I filled in my lips as well with the black paint. And as you can see, I'm taking the flat paint brush again with the white and going up against the detail on the jawline. For my nose, I'm taking the white and putting it along the bridge of my nose and taking a makeup wipe and just cleaning up the edges so I can get it the desired thickness that I want it. Then I'm going back in with the black and I'm just uh, sketching out just like a basic shape that I want my nose to be and you can just uh, see from the video what shape I decided to go with. Now going in with the white on the paintbrush and just getting up close to that detail work. Taking another rounded brush, I'm going in with the black again and I'm going to create some like teeth shapes on my upper and lower lips. Now using the detailed brush again and the clown white, I'm just going to create an actual tooth shape uh, right over the black area but I'm gonna leave some of the black showing right around the tooth area and this is a little difficult to get spot on to the right shape but you can just go in and clean up as you go now for my flower I'm going to use the red face paint on another detail brush and I'm just gonna draw in some petals just some freehand petals it doesn't have to be perfect just whatever you want your design to have. Now just taking the black on a detail brush, just go over your design and uh, let the black be the contrast just to make your flower stand out. Now for some detailed work, take the other end of a thin brush and dip it into the black or whatever color you want and just dot it along your face. And I also went in with a detailed brush in the black and created some just random swirls and lines where I wanted them. You can choose whatever design that you want. This is just what popped into my head, but yeah, feel free to go with whatever flows. Now taking my crown of roses that I made and check my DIY video posted before this one on how I made that and your fabric of choice I just chose this sheer uh, spider web fabric and I'm placing it halfway through my uh, crown to make a veil and yeah just adjust it as needed add some accessories I added some uh, necklaces and the look is complete.